Hey everybody, so today I thought I'd teach you uh, how to fold a hummingbird and everything like that. Um, a simple design of my own and everything like that. Um, this one was made using 6 inch paper, um, but we're going to be using about 9 inches. It's a bit over 9 inches. It's like almost close to 10 inches uh, paper to make this model and everything like that. Um, sorry if anything doesn't work out and everything. I'm not exactly um, an expert. <laughs> And teaching people how to fold origami stuff, so you know it is going to be what it is. So, anyways, first off, what you want to do is you want to fold from one corner to the other diagonally. Afterwards, what you want to do is you want to fold it from this corner to this corner. I also have a cat in the background. When you are done, unfold. Now here's where we want to get set up into a half bird base. So what we're going to do is do a half of a preliminary base by taking this corner and folding it to the corner up there. And then you can do one of two things. You can either just take the inner flap here and pull it out, or if you wanted to, you could um, just push this part in. It's all up to you on that. But if you know what a preliminary base is, you should be fine. Fold that over. Alright. So from the open end down here, so from this end here, you want to take this edge and fold it to the center. You're a nice little kid, you know that? <sighs> Alright. Let's get that straightened up a little bit nicer. Hey. messing around with things. Anyways, um, for here you can do, for the next step, to make it a little bit easier, just fold across here. It's a little bit more difficult just because of um, just a short reference point. But um, if you do it nicely enough, you can just make sure it's folded along here, and then at this point touches on the center line. And that should give you enough reference in order to make a nice clean fold for that. Now what you want to do is fold up across that line. Fold this in like you're doing a pedal fold. So we initially reach our uh, half bird base. Let's clean that up a little bit there. Flip it over. And you want to do the same thing. So in this case, since we made a reference fold already, we are uh, good to go in that department, but we can just fold this up for a nice easier time. Um, usually when I do uh, bird bases and everything like that, I'll usually fold this up to make it easier. There are cases where you can do it without it, but it takes a lot more, uh, a little more effort on your part sometimes. So let's just make sure these line up nicely. And there we go. Now, next up what you want to do 
You're just going to take your top flap here. You're going to fold it down. So that we reach into the center here. Now here's the step that's going to be uh, referenced later. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this edge and fold it to the center. Right here. Make sure I'm not going over too much. All right. Take the other side, do the same. Now what you're gonna do is unfold. Like I said, we're gonna reference these later. Now, you're gonna flip over and you're gonna fold the tip right to this point here, right in the center. So right to there. Now, flip it over and you're gonna fold this edge to this edge right here. So basically to where the uh, half point is. Now if we did this now we'd have a hummingbird with a really short nose. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this edge, flatten it, and fold it to this edge. So basically like this. So now that the edge that was up there is now down here. <clears throat> now here's where the reference fold comes in. Now this one might be a little bit tricky uh, depending on how good you are with this. Um, and here I'll pick it up a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to fold this in and then you want to take it and just flatten this part up here. So this will go along this part right here quite nicely. It'll lay flat along there. And there you go. You repeat this on the opposite side. And voila, you made the beak. So close this up now. And hopefully if you're a little bit better with the folding on that, you won't see as much white, but it's gonna happen sometimes when you um, try to fold it at corners and it'll show a little bit every once in a while. So let's flatten it out a little bit more. All right, so Next up is we're going to be making some reference folds for later for a really difficult step. Now, what you want to do is you want to take this side and fold it along the edge here where the green and the white meet. So just like this. Now here's going to be the next part. So if you need to, you can flip it over. You can see that we have a nice clean line here that you're going to follow. So you're going to fold it along that line and make sure that this is lined up straight down the center. So make sure that that crease is nice. And then the next step, you're going to take it even further and take this point all the way up to the tip up here, like so. And these are the two reference folds we'll be using to make the uh, tail end of the hummingbird. So you're gonna just take this, pull this out, unfold it. Now here, here's the tricky part of this. Um, you actually have to open the model a little bit at the end here. You keep the rest in about a similar position. I like how you can just open it this far, but if you're like really good with it, you don't have to, um, you really don't have to uh, <laughs> open it this far. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some marks. Um, I have a black pen and a blue pen. So I'm just going to make this a little bit easier by marking which one is a mountain fold, which is a valley fold. So I'm going to use blue, this one right here, for uh, valley and uh, the black for the mountain folds. Stuff like that. So just to make it a little bit if, a little bit easier for people who um, are viewing this, just because um, having it like so many white increases don't really show up so well on white some of the times. 
So basically this fold right here, it's going to be valley. This one right here is going to be a mountain fold. And basically any folds that I'm not marking are, you can just ignore them as best as possible um, or needed, everything like that. Uh, this one right here is going to be a valley fold. And I'm only marking half of it. Um, these are the ones that you really need to pay attention to. Um, other ones, I wouldn't worry so much about it. And then you need to focus on this one. The reason why we did those two reference folds because they kind of give us two positions. Um, I really like it so that because um, this one right here will go right to here um, instead of being just like a little bit more up. And it, it just helps the model out a little bit more, even if it makes it a little bit more difficult. And obviously, you can't really tell much of a difference in the camera between blue and black that well, I guess. Um, but, anyways, th these right here are going to be valley, and these right here are going to be mountain folds. So basically what you're going to be doing is covering the uh, back side of the wing with uh, white completely, and it's going to look pretty interesting. So if you need to go through, make sure these folds uh, specifically are going to be the ones that are going to be folded. So that one's doing nicely right there. Um, just you know, make sure to prep them. So this is a valley fold right here, while this is going to be a mountain fold. There we go. So make sure it's the same on the opposite side. The only things that you should need to um, redo on would be the wing aspect and um, the little reference fold back down here. So yeah, this one right here. All right, and so what we wanna do is you want to flip this one back because this part right here becomes a mountain fold itself. And we just start forming it, taking the ones that we need. So pressing into this one, pressing up on that. Make sure it goes through the same on the opposite side. And there, if you've gone through with that, you should have basically your backside covered with white. Um, that's probably the last part, um, since you can't really make a reference fold with this without actually bending the whole entire model. What you want to do is you want to take it so that this edge from this point intersects at this part right here. And this just kind of finishes up with the tail end of our hummingbird. So the basic easy way to do this is kind of fold it out first. And then just kind of take one side and uh, reference it out. You don't have to be perfect about it. But just make sure that it goes to this point. And then if you need to pull out a little bit more, pull out a little bit more. Because once you get one side down, the other side should be pretty easy. And there you go. You're mostly done with the hummingbird. Uh, what you can do, just as a final extra step, is just to... Uh, Curl the wings in a little bit more, just add a little bit more oomph to it. It's all about your personal style and uh, preference on it, everything like that. So yeah, hopefully this wasn't too bad. Um, maybe I should figure out something a little bit better about the uh, lines and everything like that. Um, but it's just to demonstrate um, basically how to make the hummingbird. So thank you very much for anybody who can watch, do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll see if I uh, start building up on more of these. Bye!